my dog here, Peggy. <laughs> So, my grandparents just went out to do some grocery shopping and I was thinking, since they've been cooking for me basically every day since I came here, why don't I cook something for them today? I guess I can do it. I found something very quick and easy to make and it's also one of my favorite things. So yeah, I just thought we could somehow cook together and see whether my grandparents like it or not. Let's go. I'm gonna make some ravioli pre-made because I don't have that much of a time and I'm not that good of a chef to <laughs> make ravioli from scratch. But it's okay, they're good. They're still fresh, so no problem. With just cherry tomatoes and lots of basil. Cause I love basil. First thing first, extra virgin olive oil. Oh no. I got it back up. <laughs> We need a little bit of oil because it's a lot of tomatoes. Also because my grandpa likes it, so. Oh my god, oh my god, which one? Is it this one? Is it? I can see it. It's this one, okay. <laughs> an onion like a small one got him okay now comes the hardest part we have to cut the onions and the tomatoes put everything in the pan oh, safe They're here. Onto my favorite part, just cutting the cherry tomatoes and putting them in the pan. It should be a quick process. They told me one hour, it's not been an hour, it's been barely 30 minutes. I usually cut my cherry tomatoes differently because I just like it better when they're all together. Usually for the smallest one, I just cut them in half. For the bigger one, in four. It's so pretty. No, no, guarda quanto è bello. Ah, uh, Giovanni, sta spita. <laughs> Look at him. Oh my god. Oh my god, so juicy. I'm already thinking about the scarpetta I can do in the tomato sauce. That's why I love cherry tomatoes and I don't like tomato sauce. Is it weird? I don't know. If you ask me, yes. They do taste very different. They have a different consistency, density, whatever you want to call that. It's just not the same thing. Ravioli time. Would you? Meanwhile, simmering. Oh my god, oh my god, everything looks super delicious. I can wait to taste it. Uh, it's not even for me. behind the thick carbonara here in Italy without using any cream. Just use the water you use for your pasta. It naturally released the whistles and it makes everything creamy. Delicious. Actually, ravioli are not the best to do that. If it's there. Ooh, my grandpa is here. Almost time to eat. Ravioli is not the best for that because it's fresh, but it, it still works. Oh my god, they look so good. Mixing all together so it really absorb and finish cooking in the tomato sauce. So this way, even if you add two things that have technically been cooked separately, the flavor, everything comes together. Nonino, è pronto nonno? I should work more on my on the way I put things in place. Prego, <laughs> 
mamma, prego, 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 prego. a tavola, guarda che bella roba che c'è, guarda, Bene. guarda. Un bacino giallo d'orino. Oh, mm -hmm. e dammi un bacino. Mm -hmm. ah. <ride> Però vi si sa. Eh. Ti piacciono? <ride> Buon appetito. Buon appetito. Mm. They like it. It's a victory. I did it. <laughs> Success. One. Like it. Mm. Hello, Mimi. <laughs> Bella. <laughs> One. Buon appetito. <ride> Brava! Ma sono bello dolci sti pomodorini però! Eh! Non lo prendo io il pastiglio! Bravo! Morning. It's another day. My grandpa has a sweet tooth and so do I. So he gave me the perfect excuse to make a tiramisu. And the excuse was, it's a Sunday. We don't know what to get for dessert because on Sunday we do need a dessert. And I was like, oh, what about a tiramisu? Honestly, I just wanted to buy it. But then I was like, since I don't really like a lot of cheese, I used to make the tiramisu the way I like it with slightly less cheese without compromising the flavor and the thickness of the cream. I don't know how to explain that. I just know how I like it and I know how to do it in a way that suits my taste. And I'm sure my grandpa would like it too. So <laughs> that's what we're doing today. So my grandpa, I kid you not, he got eggs from one of his friends, I guess, he has a chicken <laughs> and he got fresh eggs yesterday for this purpose. That's why Sears is my grandpa about desserts and food in general. So these are four fresh eggs. They're huge. They're heavy and I'm sure they will be the perfect candidate for our tiramisu. So let's go. about using this to make the tiramisu is that I have to wash it before mixing the reds with the white but my, my grandma doesn't have whiskers and luckily my mom brought it so it's still quick it's a tiny bit annoying but it's not like I had a choice that's perfect it's like a cloud Buono, che delizia! Meno male!
la vuoi la cioccolata? Cioccolata. Eh sì. Ok. I'm just gonna follow the instruction here. Ok, milk first. I think this should be enough. Add the chocolate slowly. How can I make it look like a dessert? You know, I know hot chocolate is a dessert per se, but I mean, I would like to make it more of an event than just a cup of hot chocolate. I don't know how to explain that. So I got this cup because it's pretty. I mean, it's still a grandma cup, but that's what we have. And then I think I'm gonna add something more. So my grandma just got back from grocery shopping and she bought these. I think we can use them for something special. Oh. 